All right, here we've got the RTL-SDR adapter. We're gonna be attaching it to our antenna cable here. Uh, this is uh, an SMA uh, female connection on this end. Um, this is an SMA male on this. Um, I've got a PL259 or SO239 uh, bringing it down from the, the CB standard CB antenna cable there down to the SMA. I recommend getting a few just kind of different kinds. And, and all we're going to do then is plug this guy into the laptop desktop, whatever you got. Um, this device gets warm. If you've got a fan, some type of way to get air to it, a number of different ways, but the cooler it is, the better it's going to work. Um, you also don't want to have like this kind of cable hanging off the back of a PC, pulling down weight-wise any direction. So you can hear there just disconnected from the, from the computer. So um, you want to make sure that it stays in nice and straight like that. Now that we've got the uh, SDR uh, USB device plugged in, we need to install drivers for it. Um, I've got a link uh, in the description below that takes you to this, but uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to download the drivers here. All right. So um, we want to go ahead, once you go here, just download or go down a little bit. We want to close out any of the ads that pop up and then we're going to want to go to the downloads folder here and uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, once this particular application opens go up to the options and list all devices um, and then you'll have all your your USB devices uh, that are here. They were shown before, but we're looking for the Balkan interface device zero and device one. Um, if you don't see your device there, try going to list all devices, uh, and it may show up. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on bulk device here. Uh, the current driver is set to none, uh, and we want to install the Win USB 6.1. Um, don't select any of your other devices up here. Um, if you've already got one installed wrong drivers, that's a whole separate issue. But this is assuming you haven't installed one before. Um, you're going to click install driver here then. This is going to sit and chug in the background. It might take just a minute. Once this finishes installing, we're going to download the... Uh, I like to use SDR++. Um, it's a, a freeware application that allows you to listen to any radio frequencies. Um, you can definitely listen to anything outside the CB band or anything, but this video is how to use uh, the CB band with an inexpensive RTL SDR dongle. Um, I've got this currently hooked up to my Mako V5000 outside. Um, we're going to download, oh, there we go, uh, the driver was installed successfully. We're going to click close on that. Close this out, and um, what we're going to do next is we're going to go and download, and again, I've got the link for this um, below. It is not .com, it's sdrpp.org for SDR++, sdrpp.org. And uh, we're going to go ahead and download the latest version. The nightly build is the true, true latest version. Those are all beta versions that are up updated constantly. Um, but you're going to need a, a GitHub account in order to get access to those downloads. Um, they can be a little bit buggy. Unless there's a feature you're looking for, just stick with the regular download. Um, we're just going to download this here. Uh, 104 is the latest version. We're going to scroll down uh, a little bit here and we're going to look for the um, Windows file itself. So SDR PP underscore Windows X64. We're going to download this guy. And then we're going to go into our downloads folder. And here we've got SDR PP. It's a zip file. It's actually multiple files within this. So we're going to right click on it the first time. Um, we're going to just say extract all. We're going to go ahead and extract out to this folder. Uncheck the show extracted. Um, click the extract button. 
And this is just using the free built-in extracting software from Windows. Now, there's, if we go into that folder, there's now going to be another folder inside of there. And this is our actual SDR application that's here. Um, what we're going to want to do before we do this also is I do have down in the description below too, I've got a file shared out off um, Google Drive that you can download that's going to have all of the um, channels pre-programmed for the standard CB band. Um, so I'm going to copy that and we're going to come up here and we're going to paste this in. And there's one one file inside of it. We're going to click the download button here. And then um, we're going to come back out to downloads and we're going to that CBR channels plus one band zip file. Um, we're going to right click on it also. Uh, choose extract all. Um, hit extract. And that just went within this folder here. But we're going to come back in the C, uh, SDR application that's here. And what we're looking for is the SDRPP. It's the only one with a blue icon. Uh, and when you run it the first time, it takes a little bit to run where it's initializing everything. And I'm going to show you all of the settings that I do here whenever I set it up for um, a new version after I apply an update or something. So um, over here on the left is where we have source. Um, it's currently set to Air Spy. Um, that's not what we're going to want to use. We're going to want to choose that drop down that's there. And we're looking for the RTL SDR, which is uh, the USD, USB device that we have plugged in. It found that there's a generic RTL that's here. And the default bandwidth is 2.4 megahertz, meaning that it can see a lot of 2.4 or 1.2 megahertz below what you're listening to and 1.2 above. You can see a lot. Um, if you have anything that's noisy around you or any loud stations, that can be bad. Um, I typically drop this down to 1.02. Um, I find that this works a little bit better for me. Um, I can still see the entire CB band in, in, in one, one view there, and uh, I'll show you that as well here. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just click play on this up at the top, which is going to start it. It's going to be loud, too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring the volume down a little bit here. We, I guess we can leave it up. Um, and right now it's set to 100 megahertz. That's not where we want to be. Um, and if you click up and down on the um, the top or the bottom of the numbers, um, it'll go up or down. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do channel 27 here and you can see it it already has the cb band and we can see we're getting some traffic uh listed inside of here as well um so we're we're getting data in but how do we make it where we can see it how can we use it all of that good stuff um over here you can adjust the gain on the RTL as well and I can bring that gain up and you can see it getting 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 stronger there. I typically will leave that down but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring and, and go ahead and check the RTL um, automatic gain control and I typically check the IQ correction box as well. I get some electrical noise where I'm located and this seems to help knock some of that out. Um, down here under the radio section this is where you're going to choose whether it's narrow FM, wide FM, AM, upper sideband, lower sideband, etc. Um, we're going to go ahead and click AM, but the next number that's down here is bandwidth, and it's set to 12,500. That's not what we want for CB. We want 6,000, and you can just type that in if you want to, and that's going to go ahead and, and get that in. If you look over here, though, everything is just completely blown out, really bright. Um, this is our zoom level up here on the top right. I can zoom in or zoom out on a particular frequency by grabbing that blue bar and sliding in or out. Um, this raises or lowers whatever the top, um, the ceiling is of your signal gain. So up here at zero, if I zoom this in, you can see it, it's, it's lowering whatever the ceiling is. And then this is um, more like your, your gain itself that you've got on, your, on what you're viewing. Um, we're just going to leave that there for now. I'm actually going to probably bring this down to about here. And I'm going to bring this guy up a little bit uh, here as well. Uh, 
So um, if we do some of the more of the settings that we've got here, um, I currently have it muted. I clicked the little speaker icon and muted it there. But again, you can see the red shows the CB band, but then all our channels aren't there. That file in the Google Drive link, uh, I've got that. Um, if you click add, you can add individual channels, whatever you want. Um, but if you click the import button, and then we're going to go back to our downloads folder. And then uh, there's that one file that I had there called the CB channels plus one band. If we go into there, and then we've got the CB channels plus one band there, and open it, all these yellow lines just appeared across there. This shows all 40 channels in the CB band plus one as well, one above. Um, what I typically do when I come into this is I'll click on channel 20 or channel 19. Channel 19 is going to center it up for just the CB band and then this zooms in and if I zoom in slowly as I start to get in here you'll see that um, it's going to stop if I can get it to do it just right where channel 1 is up here on the top left and channel 40 is up here on the top right. So I'm viewing all 40 channels at once here on the on the CB band. All right, um, all right. So um, once we've got the channels imported here, and uh, and we're looking, um, one of the other things I like to do is um, if we scroll down on the left side here a little bit, um, we want to come down, and one of the things that uh, I typically like to do is update update my FFT framework. I like it at 30. Um, the waterfall moves a little bit faster. Um, I like to do the FFT window. Um, I like to keep that um, set like it is at Blackman, but under color map, I don't like the classic one. Um, there's a few different ones that I do use, um, but it really just depends on um, what I'm doing here. But recently I've been using Inferno. So I'm going to go ahead and click over to Inferno here, and you can see we've got a lot of activity on 30 right now. Um, I'm down here in South Carolina, and the um, uh, local roll call and prayer request just happened, and so let's listen in on 30. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, bring my floor up a little bit here. I like it probably right about this setting right here and then when somebody keys up um, we can really see that. I'm actually going to bring this down a touch and bring the key up just a little bit more. I like kind of a general light purple down here in the bottom and then when somebody really keys I hear it. So I've got it muted right now. I'm going to go ahead and unmute and we'll be able to hear what's going on right now. Being I clicked on the 30 up at the top, if I click on any one of these channels I can listen to them. So I'm going to click on 30 here and unmute. Are you funny? And we should be hearing that. Alright, give it uh, full runner and bad company. So you can see we're uh, listening to that there. Uh, we got lots of audio coming in, but uh, we can see all 40 channels here. And you can see somebody was keying on channel 25 here. Um, looks like they had some decent power. There's always noise coming out of 6. Um, sometimes some of the big boys coming out of 6 or 9 will drown out everything that you can hear on any of the channels. Um, um, there's a few guys here locally that just splatter all over when they key up on 6. Uh, even if I'm on my radio, I'm not going to hear anything when they do. I'm going to click on 25 here. There's a big like that, yeah, but there ain't no telling where. We can go back to 30 that you're running the air press right there. Holy Michael, let me try that one again. Bones and full runner, let them go. Bones, 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 So you can see we're listening to channel 30 there. It's so easy when you're sitting here looking. You can see all 40 channels at a glance. 
Um, but we'll run through and just look at any of the other settings that I typically change when I make these, uh, when I make settings here. Sometimes I'll up the sound quality um, from 4800 and I'll go to 9600 here, or 96000 rather. Um, but if you wanted to add any of the additional sources, if you're running an SDR that's not listed here, you can add all of those. I might do another video showing all of that. I like the dark theme. I like it to look the, the, the dark colors here, not as bright. Um, if you want to edit any of these, one thing I do want to say, all the channels that I have saved, channels 1 through 34, um, all default to AM 6000 bandwidth. If you look just, uh, just to the right of where the mouse cursor is there on channel 34, it'll tell you all of that information. If I go up to 35, I've got all the presets that were saved here for channels 35 through 40 to use lower sideband. As typically, that those are more of the lower sideband skip channels that are out there. You can change any of that that you want to. You can come over here to the uh, under frequency manager and change anything that you want. So if you want channel 35, instead of being lower sideband, um, if you click the edit button here, you can then choose, and it's bandwidth is set to 3000 for lower sideband or upper sideband, and you can change to AM or, or whatever you wanted to do there, but if you go to AM, you're gonna wanna make sure your bandwidth is set to 6000, not 3000. Um, but uh, if we come back into channel 30 here, um, once I click on 30, it goes back to the... Uh, Bones and Scooby-Doo. All right, I got Fireball and Scooby-Doo. Next one, let them go. Big Country and more Big Country. Ooh, you got Mr. 095, and I believe I heard Mr. Big Country come in there. One more spot. Let him go. Balls, 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 balls. The O'Reilly and balls. Triple three. Whew. I can hear bones. Triple three and nature boy all at the same time. Last spot. Let him go. Balls, 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 balls. My nature boy. Balls, balls, balls. muted again here but again if you want to switch to any of these channels if you see a line like I'm seeing a line right here I got somebody really faint on channel 24 there I'm not gonna be able to get them I'm not gonna be able to hear that one um, but again if I go back to 25 that person that's randomly talking there I'm gonna hear that I hear somebody here on 28 hey, hello what's up hey what's up ground what's up ground That, that talk on um, evenings and everything all the time and they'll key up audio a few times seeing if anyone's on a particular channel and if you're using an SDR like this you can look at it and see and then respond to that particular person um, when I first got this going I used one of those AB antenna switchers and um, would switch between my software defined radio and my radio radio and that way I can switch where my antenna was going there's some more advanced things you can do as well I'll probably do another video showing how to use what's called a pan adapter uh, but you can see we got somebody keying up on six here that's just killing us um, I'm curious what we see if we uh, unmute here or what we hear Somebody hit 30 in lower sideband. Uh, I heard an aloha in there. Um, here in South Carolina, if that's Hawaii. But you can see the bandwidth looks different. It's only on the bottom side of the channel where all of these are modulating up and down above the channel. I can tell that was lower sideband. And again, all of the presets in that file that I have there for channels 35 through 40 are going to be lower sideband. I'm making a good trip out here in the beach of Southern California. World Radio 510, Bill on the beach, waving a hand. Right. Southern California to South Carolina. And it doesn't look like there's any skip conditions right now either. Normally this is completely lit up here. Um, one other thing I do want to add, 
Um, if you click, you can close any of these particular ones that are here. Um, you're not going to use a lot of these once you kind of get them set. Play with any of the settings if you want to. Um, but I typically close most of these out. It kind of cleans up the look. I leave the source open so that I can see this. And I usually leave the radio one open here as well. Um, but that way it kind of is a little bit of a cleaner of a look. And I'll just mute and unmute by clicking that right there. Let's see what's going down on six here. Test one, two. And usually it's multiple guys keying up, trying to yell over each other all the time. Um, and I don't spend much time down on six. Now we got it up. Get ready to Back up here on 30 right now. A lot of activity on 30. I can go to 27. Looks like there was something there. Might be going now. Come back to 30. Uh, roll call. They got you in there, grass cutter. Oh, right. Yeah. Yep, you in there. So you can sit and listen and uh the higher you get your antenna, the better it's gonna sound. Um, when I first got my SDR installed, I had a um, just an old 102 whip. Um, I had it mounted on a 2x4 sticking about 6 feet above my rear fence, which was a 6 foot fence. I had it about 12 feet off the ground, um, just mounted on a 2x4 um, out back. And, uh, and I could sit and listen to these guys. I couldn't talk back without a radio, but you can hear a lot that's going on. And uh, I'm really surprised how much there is going on out there on the CB band still. Um, but you can see here's your whole band and you can see what's going on. So um, real easy to, to take part in uh, any of the conversations that might be going on. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Hopefully this can get you uh, getting to listen to CB on your radio. Um, I'll probably do another video here showing how to set up the AB switch if you want to look at that. Along with, um, I run an MFJ pan adapter where it splits off the receive signal automatically to my SDR so I can listen through the computer. And if I key the mic on my radio, it automatically cuts that receive off on the SDR and starts broadcasting out through the antenna on the radio. So um, I'll show you guys how I've got that set up and, uh, and, and how that works as well. But uh, for a free piece of software, free set of drivers, and a very inexpensive USB device, um, you can listen to CB radio through your computer here, and uh, it, it really does work well. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Okay, here's my antenna setup. I've got a Roan telescoping mast. It's up about 30 feet right now. Um, LMR 400 run outside here. Um, it's a Balin up there at the base of the antenna, um, 11 turns at about nine and a half inches diameter. It's about 22 feet of cable. Um, ugly Balin up there knocked out all of the um, RF noise coming back down the cable. Um, yeah, very clean, clean transmission with that. So um, help knock SWR down too. Um, but uh, Mako V5000. Um, got it tuned. Um, uh, tuned for the the CB band uh, tuned a little higher it's tuned I believe around channel 24 28 somewhere um, uh, did it a touch higher though I tend to talk on the on the higher frequencies more than the lower um, but then also it comes in I've got it grounded here got an eight foot ground rod Wax comes around here. Oh, I've got a sealed NEMA box here. And uh, that gives me my SO239 connector on the other side of the wall inside.